Hey, what's up, guys? So I want to do a review on a ROM, the CM7 GX4 ROM, which is a Cyanogen mod, a mod base, and uh, this is with WiMAX, um, and uh, it's available on XDA's website, which I'll provide the link in the info section below. And so, getting into it, the lock screen is there. You know, similar to any lock screen that you've ever. Try it out with the little slide feature. I'm running fancy widgets, and as you can see, it animates the weather and current conditions. I'm running the home uh, widget here, which gives me the day's weather, city, time, and all that good stuff. I'm also running the um, forecast widget, which gives me the five day forecast, and Jorge calendar, of course and ADW launcher at the bottom and that's kind of going to come stock I'm sorry not ADW launch pro um, launcher menu at the bottom and this is a big difference so the difference here is that you have your widgets are in a glass type of a look and um, they also give you notifications of any missed, call, missed uh, calls as well as uh, missed emails if you run Gmail and messages as well. It'd give you any missed messages. Anything else? Probably I don't. I didn't see any other notifications with anything else. And you can add as many as you. Actually, not as many as you like. You can add up to twenty, I think, or up to fifteen. Either or. And uh, pretty simple stuff to add. I'm also running the animation, which is the cube, like I do on most of my ROMs. Um, this one is pretty nice. Definitely smooth. Uh, has that sweet look to it when you animate through it um, and um, uh, it gives you a few programs with it it gives you the um, Q player which is this guy right here and um, it's probably one of the best interfaces or the best music players around really because of uh, because of the things you can do with it but like I said the interface is pretty nice you can set up your own um, you can set up your playlist on the fly kind of a deal you know while the song is still playing you can add the cue and it will play that song next and uh, you can also change the view of the you can change it right now it's in a morph, morph flow and I can, you can change it to a wall and the wall you know looks like that so when you select an artist it will animate to it you can cue all or play all and uh, yeah pretty nice um, you know, just a very nice interface uh, music player, and uh, that comes uh, free with the ROM. Like I said, you also get Launch Pro and ADW, which are both uh, launchers, and uh, you can have kind of two sides to your ROM, uh, which with two different launchers running, and you can have different set different settings. Some some of the settings they split. So like things like the background they split and other things like that so you, know, you want to be careful about it but you can have um, at least different widgets and different you know applications out on the site while you do that and um, landscape mode works great uh, looks nice also uh, if you're running the cube animation on the landscape mode as you can see it it looks very very nice it gives that full animation nice and smooth and um, as you can see your icons automatically change app drawer is also gonna go to uh, landscape however it does not animate into the cube here um, in regular mode it will show the animation of cube which is also set up uh, found in the menus and settings where you can set it up to do that but with the launch pro version you, it does not animate in the uh, cube when you're in um, landscape mode and you have your home touch button here and plus you have your home button here but the difference is is the home button when you're in your app drawer here will take you to your current home which is the launch pro home but if you hit the launch button here and you have ADW as your default home screen uh, or launcher then it's gonna go to ADW side so that's the only difference pull down menu is the same you know you got your widgets at the top you know uh, notifications there and uh, 4G I mentioned WiMAX so 4G works as you can see you actually you probably can't see but that says 4G and I'm running it right now I'm also tethering also works for free with this ROM as well so I'm currently tethering 4G right now and uh, 
works great. Um, tried it out last night. Nice. Um, 4G was giving me probably about four and a half down, 4.5 download speed, and uh, upload speed was probably like one point something or something like that. So not bad for um, for tethering. And yeah, so let me show you the launch pro, the ADW side. ADW side looks like this. And um, as you notice right away, the uh, the launcher menus here on a side in landscape mode, and the bottom during regular mode, they are color. So you don't have the clear glass, which uh, the Launch Pro, and that's I think that's a Launch Pro Premiere or something like that. The difference is though, the app drawer does animate uh, when I get a forced close. <laughs> it actually does. So ROM's not perfect. Um, there's still some things that force close on it, but I've only had a few since I've had this ROM, so smooth nonetheless. You can definitely use it as your daily driver. It doesn't force close on you every five minutes where you can't use the phone, you know, so it works just just good. But as you notice, the animation in the cube works here in the app drawer versus the Launch Pro side of it, it does not. And here's a look at the regular mode still animating to the cube and um, as you notice also inside the app drawer you still have your launcher menus at the bottom where is launch pro you just had your home and um, you know you have your camera and all that good stuff camera looks uh, a lot of people don't like the camera the look of the camera I mean just kinda looks the interface of it um, looks kinda silly a little bit you know you have your video mode and all that stuff you still have your settings and all that stuff but uh, a lot of people don't like it because it looks a lot like the uh, iOS um, I'm not a big fan of it either I prefer the other camera the sense camera so but you know whatever landscape mode works on this one pretty well and um, uh, you can have your I have this one I wanted to have this one with all my widgets so I can just go ahead and switch to ADW side when I want to look just take a look at you know Charlie Sheen fired from two and a half men or something like that you know I, I don't have to open an application up in order to read just like a headline or check my calendar or whatever you know so um, that's that um, that's about it I, could, I can't really show you much else running out of time a little bit here but you can mod the battery um, I have just a stock battery but you can mod the battery I tried it a few times and I couldn't figure out how to get it to mod and you have to you have to kind of use the um, some software to, in order to change it over. So um, I could be wrong about that, but I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I just did not uh, go with it. But all in all, very nice running ROM. Uh, if you're a fan of landscape mode for your i for your um, for your Evo, then you know it'll it looks very nice on the Evo because the Evo has such a big nice screen and it looks so sweet when it does it. And uh, I don't have time to run a smart bench, but I can just let you know I was getting about 750 over 700 or something like that. Not a huge improvement, but enough to to be faster. Um, MIUI, of course, was getting the best speed for me. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the ROM. Let me know if you want to see anything else. And uh, comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Uh, let me know. All right, talk to you later. Bye.